Hello, this is Mr. Weissman, and today we are working on Chapter 1.3, the basic functions. Um, actually, the 12 basic functions. And we're just going to go over what the 12 basic functions are and what they look like and maybe ask a question or two regarding them. Um, but the main thing that you should get out of this section is just what are the 12 basic functions. So the first function is the identity function and it's just y equals x. So this function is just f of x equals x. And this is called the identity function. The next function would be the squaring function. And we know that that actually looks like a parabola. So this right here is f of x equals x the second power, and that's called the squaring function. The next one would be x to the third power. And that is the cubic or cubing function. The next one we're going to look at is y equals 1 over x. And that is called the reciprocal function. The next function is the square root, that's called the square root function.
next function is the exponential function. Next function would be the natural log function. that we have a trig function, our first trig function, which is the sine function. Then we have the cosine function, um, which is uh, exactly the same as the sine function, it's just shifted. We'll go into more details about that in a different lesson. Next, we have the absolute value function.
just writing that three different ways is the proper way to write it, and, or two different ways. The proper way to write it and the way computers understand absolute value. After that, we have the greatest integer function, and um, I'm going to uh, just clarify one piece with this graph. Um, let me just put this together. Now I used a different term in the calculator because it's what I have available. And um, for greatest integer function, um, these here are actually open dots. Just want that to be clear. And this side here would be a closed dot. It's just the definition of the greatest integer function. So that's saying whatever our uh, x is, um, we jump to the greatest integer. And last, but certainly not least, this is the logistic function. It's actually a pretty important one. Um, it looks a little bit messier than the others, but uh, really not that bad. Um, and we'll be using this one periodically through this course. So this, I guess all of them are kind of important, but um, this is f of x, e oops, f of x equals 1 over 1 plus e raised to the negative x power. We're going to go back and look at these briefly. And try to get the domain and range for each. Um, domain goes from negative infinity to positive infinity because it goes left forever and right forever. A range is climbing up and climbing down with no end in sight. For the squaring function, the x values, the domain, also is all real numbers. The range starts at zero and goes up to infinity, but it does not go below the axis, so it goes from zero, including zero, up to infinity. The domain and range on this one, x can be any number, you can substitute any number in here, it will never break, and the range actually is also any number. So if you put a big enough number in here, you'll get a big number here, or a negative big number, go to a negative big number, or, or whatever. They both go forever. Um, 
In this one, the domain, the x values go everything except for zero. So it goes from negative infinity to zero, not inclusive, and then zero to infinity. And the range actually does the same thing because it never crosses this line. Now in this one, you can't have a negative square. Uh, you can't have a negative square root. Remember, it's square root of x. Um, you can't have a negative in here, so it's all. Uh, it's from. You can have a zero. You just can't have anything less than zero. So zero on up. And the range. Our answer is also never going to be less than zero. Um, so they're all uh, numbers, um, basically they're both all positive numbers. Here, the domain, um, it goes backwards forever, and then it goes forwards forever. And the range, um, we have an asymptote at zero, zero is the lower bound, so we never get to zero. Um, and we go up forever. So the range goes from zero on up, the domain goes left and right forever. Next one, the domain and the range. Um, so here, uh, we'll never go less than zero. And the range is negative infinity, and it will actually go up forever very slowly, but it will go up forever. Now the sine function, the x values, again it's anything, the range goes from positive one to negative one, back to up to positive one, back down to negative one. It never um, goes above or below negative one, but it's all numbers in between negative one to one. Cosine, uh, same, same domain and range. And absolute value, the domain, your x values, all real numbers, and the range. Can be zero and above, but absolute value, remember, um, will always be a positive number, so we can't be in the negatives. Huh. Now this one. Um, domain is um, your x values and your range are uh, all integers. Um, we could write that um, other ways but I just I'm comfortable just writing it uh, writing it out. And finally, your domain and your range. Um, so the range, we go from zero up to one. And we actually never get to zero, and we actually never get to one, so they're not inclusive. So if you put in a really huge negative number, you get a number close to zero here, but it wouldn't actually be zero. And if you put in a number very, uh, very big, you get a number close to one as an answer, but you'd never get to one. Um, and uh, we could say this is also continuous. Um, and it's increasing. Um, and you could go back through and uh, talk.
talk about continuity and if they're increasing or decreasing and what intervals they are. Um, but uh, the main thing is I want you to really pay attention to these 12 basic functions and get to know them very well. Um, we will be using them in quite a bit in this course. Thank you and see you in class. Uh, please do not forget to put your summary at the end. And thank you. Have a good class. All right. See you in class.